Good morning! The sunshine, uh, I just don't even know if she knows how much in love with her I am. Cheers. We're going on a beach run. I have yet to go on a beach run. I actually don't really run at all. I usually just walk on incline, but my dad used to go to the beach all the time to run when we lived here. But I just wanna try something new and I love the beach. I'm not a big fan of running, but I recently just watched Divergent a couple months ago. First of all, it was amazing. Second of all, my new celebrity crush is Theo James. And I remember after the movie, I remember that there was this trend on TikTok where people were like, if you hate running, run to the Divergent soundtrack. And so I did that on the treadmill and holy shiz, you guys know how much I love pretending like I'm in a movie. <laughs> and boy, did I feel like I was in a sci-fi movie. I was main character and I was on the treadmill like <sighs> I was probably getting weird freaking looks, but I didn't care because I was actually dauntless and in a movie. So we're now going to be attempting that at a beach. I also like to listen to rap music when I work out. I feel like even though some rappers are kind of entitled, they sound really confident. Like when they talk about all of their, like just the things they have, even if they don't have it, like all their cars and stuff, they just sound really confident and I want to embody that confidence. And so when I'm running or working out, that's why I love to listen to rap. Anyways, let's go. I saw Shrug like three miles. <sighs> I'm so hungry though. Literally so excited to make breakfast. Also, the walk is gorge tastic. Look how green. I'm in love. Guys, look at my gorgeous testicle breakfast. I made eggs with leftover pancake mix that I had. Um, I was kind of snacking on my eggs while I was cooking the pancake, so she's a little bit gone. One thing about me is I love food burnt. Like, burn it. Sausage, burn it. Hash browns, burn it. Eggs, burn it. And yes, I like my steak well done. I don't know why, and I don't have to explain myself, even though I am right now. It has chia seeds in it and protein powder, so it'll fill you up. It's actually insane. Here, do you guys want a bite? Here you go, eat it all up. My head and I understand It's like an angel came by And took me to heaven This house is insane Into our hand, kind of like a light little foamy I can feel it like Getting like textury. Yeah, you feel that texture. Oh my god, it's already lifted. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Avia from the future. I was looking back at this footage and I realized I never actually told you guys what a showroom is or really explained it. Basically, a showroom is when a brand or an agency has a bunch of content creators or influencers over for an event for basically just gifting. Brands or companies will give the agency or whatever brand it is a bunch of products for influencers to gather around and then in return, they hope that you kind of post about it or just give them a shout out. Most of the time, I usually just end up actually using the products in my everyday life. And if I don't, I just give it to my friends or my family. I mail a lot of packages back home because I get so much PR and I'm so thankful for it. But I don't want to take it all for myself. I want to give some to my family as well. And so it was such a fun time and it was a gorgeous view. Oh my gosh. I went and stood where the pool was and I was looking over the mountain and I was like, I'm going to live here one day. But then after the showroom, I had a mental breakdown a little bit later in the day. So excited for you guys to see. Good luck with past Avia. She was in a weird mood. It is 8.30. I don't want to make dinner. Like, Oh my gosh, I hate cooking and I need to stop saying I hate cooking because you become your thoughts And if I tell myself I hate cooking then I'm gonna hate it even more and I stress out about it and I don't need to Ugh. Okay, I sound so insufferably annoying. I'm sorry. This is such a first world problem. Okay, I get it Let me rant. I'm on my period. I'm allowed to be upset. I miss my mom. Okay, I miss her cooking I took it for granted that she would just make us meals like what she would just make us meals without us asking crazy and I took it for granted so much but the stressful thing is I'm like it's okay I'll learn to like cooking and then I cook something and it's disgusting and it's only sometimes good and when it is good I get so happy but then when it's not I'm like wow I just wasted that food it tasted bad I'm still sad and I hate cooking this is such a stupid thing to be upset about so here I am eating frozen grapes and complaining about the stupidest things to complain about also does anybody else struggle with this I know that I'm gonna move out of my apartment in six months right I still have a long time, but I stress out about it now. Like I stress out about finding an apartment now. I feel like I can't decorate it like to the extent that I want to because I know it's not permanent. So I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna have to patch that hole later after drilling that hole in the wall. And I, I, I 
hate thinking that way and I don't know how to fix it and I'm just talking about it because I want somebody to help me. I feel like I can enjoy things in the moment, but I feel like sometimes I get ahead of myself and then I'm like, wait, I'm gonna move out of here in seven months. What's the point of even enjoying right now if it's gonna be gone? Like, I know I shouldn't think that way, but it's like my brain knows that it sucks and it knows that it shouldn't be thinking these thoughts, but it still does. Like she doesn't care, she still does. So if you guys wanna give me any tips, I will gladly do so. Actually, I haven't been reading the comments recently, so I don't know. Some of y'all are really mean. Like I'm just gonna put out there. Why am I crying right now? <laughs> dramatic guys i'm literally fine like <laughs> whoa i don't think i'm crying about hate comments i think there's something else going in my brain right now we're gonna go get dinner let's go we're at chick-fil-a now <laughs> can i just get an eight piece grilled nugget please oh wait not the grilled one Regular yes, sorry. Um, yes, meal, please. For sure, for the drink. Uh, let's do lemonade. I'm getting Chick Fil A and listening to my favorite band. I was trying to think of what I was gonna tell you guys on the way here, like why I started crying. I. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. I don't know why I started crying and I'm not even gonna try to justify myself because I don't even freaking know. So let's just move on from that. <laughs> Gavin sang this song in our high school talent show. And I miss him so much. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that thousands of people watch these videos. Your eyes used to wander, but now they sit in place. Begin to tune into your breath and your body. Allow the air to flow freely. Happy afternoon, beautiful people. I'm currently cleaning out my closet, having a little spring clean out. I also just got a package from Revolve. They sent me some super cute pieces and I wanna show you guys. I'm using a sock to hold you up, it's clean, don't worry. Look how beautiful this dress is and it has an open back. I'm going to exchange it for a smaller size cause it's a bit big, but it is beautiful regardless. I'm just like trying on clothes while like cleaning out my closet. It's so much fun. I'm probably gonna sell some stuff on Depop, but I feel like I just need a good cleaning. Like I need to clean out my mind. And I saw a list on Pinterest of things to do when you want like your mind to feel clean and it said to clean out your closet or clean out a room in your home and i was like you know what i have so many clothes that i don't really wear anymore does anybody else have so many clothes in their closet or just like certain pieces that you're like i know i'll wear this eventually but then it's been like two years and you still haven't worn it a little part of me still has dresses in there that i'm like wait what if i wear it for this babe you haven't worn that since sophomore year of high school sell it i kind of organized a little bit i put all my whites in the front here because i mostly wear white and then my black is all the way back there and they were just so close together and squished up that i was like you know what let's separate them i already kind of made a pile of stuff i'm gonna sell also i'm trying to sell these chairs i literally am about to give them to goodwill because i'm so sick of them being in my closet but i spent like 250 dollars on them so i'm trying to sell them even though i'm selling them for like a cheaper price on facebook marketplace but i've had them listed for like two and a half weeks now so i think i'm just gonna take them to goodwill if you live in the los angeles area and you want those chairs i will literally give them to you for free in courtesy of watching my content dm me if you're serious but i also might sell them by then so don't get too excited because i know that you're just jumping up and down right now and i also have some laundry that i need to do i feel so freaking good oh yeah i'm wearing a shirt that has my boyfriend all over it don't even ask i went through every single item of clothing i had i looked at it in the eye and i said am i ever gonna wear you again and some of them said no and some of them said hell yeah girl so this is my cute little deep hot pile loved these clothes while they were a part of my style but now it's time for them to move on to a new home i think i'm gonna make dinner yeah guys i'm gonna make dinner just ignore the whole meltdown i had yesterday i don't know what was going on with me i got stuff to make spaghetti tonight so that i feel a little bit better about making meals because it's not that hard to cook and i am like Rawr. Anyways, I'm gonna post this stuff after dinner on my Depop and then I packed a return and then this stuff is just going to Goodwill And then I also I need to find a way to get rid of this blanket because it doesn't it's just I don't need to actually explain myself and I feel so clean I forget how much clothes I actually have and I remember every time I do this that I actually don't need more clothes I just needed to remember the clothes that I do have so when I'm making an outfit in my brain I realize oh, yeah, I have this piece I can go with that better da 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 so now I feel really good Adding some parmesan and basil to the top of my spaghetti. I'm also gonna have some coconut water on the side for my liquid drink, like obviously liquid. 
The last time I ate dinner while it was light out was before daylight savings. I think because of daylight savings, I knew that once it was dark, it was time to eat dinner. Like once it was 5 p.m., it was time to eat dinner. And I carried that habit with me into when daylight savings was not there anymore. And so for the past couple weeks, I've been having dinner at like 8 p.m. Like what? And it's 7 and I'm proud of myself for eating while it's still light out. Mm. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my gosh. Wait, I'm so happy. I made a meal that was good, guys. Meeting and class and homework. And now here I am. That's so fun. Can you like laugh or something? <laughs> <laughs> decided to end the week at the beach because I always enjoy it when I do. I FaceTime my family today and I just love them so much. I hope they know. I always end the calls in such a good mood so that's why I'm extra peppy right now. But I'm also just feeling really lucky. I just watched a bird dive straight into the water. It's probably getting a fish or something. I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me on my fun little adventure this week. It was definitely a more chill week. Not as much exciting things going on. Well, actually, it was a pretty exciting week. I cannot wait for it to be warm enough to jump in the ocean because right now it's still kind of chilly. I'm feeling so, so, so lucky this week. The fact that I used to dream about this when I was senior in high school, I used to like wish I lived in LA so bad, auditioning and making YouTube videos for a living. And now I'm like here, like what? It's crazy what happens with life and timing. Like it's, I just feel so lucky. And it's like, I sometimes I wake up and I'm like, wait, is this real? Like it doesn't feel like it feels real, but sometimes I'm like, whoa. You know, every time I see a dog, I want to get a dog. Like, I, it's bad. I just want to let you guys know that, like, I really am extremely grateful for you guys and all of you who support me and leave nice comments. I just really appreciate it, and I feel like I don't say it enough. I also watched General Conference today, so I feel like that's why I'm also in a really good mood. General Conference is kind of like something my church does. Like, they do it semi-annually, I think. I don't know. They just do, like, a virtual, like, I don't even know what it is, but, like, prophets of our church just give talks and stuff. And one of them gave a talk today about just, like, opposites. Like, we wouldn't feel happiness unless we felt sadness, too, because we wouldn't know what each other felt like. Like, they equal each other out. And it really stuck with me, because I was like, if you're going through through a hard time right now like it will get better i know it's like you that's like probably the last thing you want to hear right now when you're like going through a hard time if you are it will get better eventually even if it takes time it's obviously hard right now to think that but just know i love you guys and i appreciate you for watching my content and i'll see you next week i love you bye wait look at the ocean one more time before you leave oh my gosh it's so beautiful